welcome to Elizabeth Hogarth Designs. It is day 21 of my Christmas card making. We've got quite a simple design today. We've got the Craft Consortium Papers Tis the Season, a set of Hero Art stamps I keep meaning to use, and an old style Christmas tree that I used to share with the children at school. So let me show how to make this clean and simple festive card. We'll begin today's card with the something old and the reason that it's old is because I, in my previous life I was a teaching assistant in a primary school and every year I used to have to come up with different card ideas for the children to be able to make. Quite often with the older age groups we would tie in with maths uh, problems so this was when we were talking about circles and diameters and such like. So this is an old make that I am resurrecting to incorporate into one of my newer style cards. So this uh, die, you don't need a die, you can cut it, uh, draw around a small plate or a large cup or a bowl, something like that. But this particular die is five inches in diameter and I do have one of the tattered edges to it just because it adds a little bit more interest. Um, so this is cut in white. We're going to use the pattern paper, but this is easier for you to see. Essentially, you're going to cut it in half and then you can mark where you want to fold. But what I tend to find is that as soon as you fold the first part, the rest of it lends itself to where you want to line it up. So the largest part is this part here. So it, it's marked round about um, two and a half, well, three inches up from the bottom, two inches down from the top. So your first fold is going to come along this line, but it's easier if I show you. So if we cut and then we are going to round about come to the three inch mark here. And you want the tree, the triangle of the tree, to bend over the edge like so. Flip it over and then allow the triangle to line up to the straight line cut on the semicircle and then you'll be left with a triangle on the back I think you can see that you're then going to fold again so bring the triangle back over so that your crease line is along the straight line here and then burnish it down again and then again, you're going to work with that straight line. So you've got the next here. And you just keep going until you reach the point. Sometimes you'll get an exact point. It doesn't really matter because you can cover it with a star. But that essentially is your tree. So let's try another one just so that we've got the option. So we're going to work to round about three inches so where my thumb is the first triangle will come over like so and then you want to flip it and then allow the triangle to meet itself so the bottom of the triangle here is coming to the line And then again, we're going to come back over to form another triangle and the line is straight down here. And then we're going to come back over to form the top. So really, the folds work out the style for you. So no two trees are going to be exactly 
alike. So that's part one. Now we move on to part two. Part two involves some newer products that I think I bought last year and I haven't really used. And these are colour layering stamps from Hero Arts. So I'm going to give it a go because I want to keep using up the items that sit on my shelf. So my thinking is, is that I'm going to use the Christmas as a base for the tree. So the tree will sit like this on the top. So we'll stamp this up. So we'll go with the thicker layer first. And I'm going to try the Versafine Tulip Red. And then I'll line it with some black. So this is where your stamping platform really will come in handy. That's stamped really well, but I'm just going to add a touch more colour. Don't be in any hurry to lift the ink away from the paper and then we'll go in with the black so these are like typography stamps so the second layer will add a an outline in the dark colour it's the matter of lining up the imagery that's very nice that's a quick way to get some bold lettering onto your card if you wanted to just do the stamp you can then take the merry and add it onto the top but I'm going to use this line here to ground the tree and then we'll add a little bucket or a little stump to the area just here at this point i'm going to glue certain areas of the tree because i want it to have dimension but i don't want it to be too thick for posting so I'll add a little bit of glue to those points there and then plenty of glue on the back. And because I want it to dry I'm going to put a block on the top just to hold it in place for a few minutes. Before the tree dries completely I'm just adding a tiny triangle to the base of the tree so that we can ground it to the lettering and then last but not least we've got a tiny glittery star that we'll add to the top of the tree and then i'm going to add just a few tiny gems to the edges of the tree and there we have the finished card. So we've taken something old and something new and we've ended up with very stylized, clean and simple cards. And I think once again, those would be pretty easy to batch make, especially if you are only beginning to make your cards now. If you want any further inspiration, don't forget to check out my other card making videos on the dedicated playlist and please do share your makes with me on social media until this time again tomorrow bye bye for now